According to the joint archaeological discovery of the University of Science and Technology of China and University of Pennsylvania in 2001, tartaric acid was founded in deposits on potsherds in Jiahu site, China. A variety of wild grape seeds was also founded around the pottery debris. These findings prove that China's wine history is more than 1,000 years longer than that of Georgia. Zhang Qian, a Chinese diplomat in the Western Han Dynasty, introduced a new variety of grapes and winemaking technologies from Western Asia, witnessing the exchanges between China and the global wine circles going back to ancient times. Kill a cow, cook a sheep, and let us merry be, and drink the hundred cupfuls of high glee. The lines from Invitation to Wine by Li Bai, a poet in Tang Dynasty, depicts people's love for wine in the Tang Dynasty. The lines from Ling Zhou by Ma Zhu Chang, a poet in the Yuan Dynasty, grapes are made into wine, clovers cover fields indicate that the wine industry already thrived in Ningxia over 700 years ago. In the geographical center of China, the water of the Yellow River and the Halan Mountains contribute to the Ningxia Plain, known as Oasis in the Hinterland. The towering Halan Mountains block the sands from Tungur Desert and leave the Ningxia people with fertile soil to survive together with the flowing Yellow River. The abundant light and heat resources and the dry climate with little rainfall are good for vines to fruit and organic substances to form, reduce plant diseases and insect pests, and are suitable for producing high-grade pollution-free organic grapes. Located between 37 degrees north latitude and 39 degrees north latitude, it is believed to be the golden zone for wine grape cultivation in the world. Here, the wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains in Ningxia, China, is growing rapidly as a world-class wine-producing area. Here, its soil, sunshine, temperature, precipitation, altitude, Hydrothermal coefficient and other conditions constitute a perfect combination to produce the wine with well-developed aroma, good chromogenesis, and a balanced acid-sugar ratio, and a, has a typical sweet mellow balanced taste. At present, the wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains in Ningxia has built 86 wine chateaus and plants nearly 40,000 hectares of wine grapes, which can produce nearly 100,000 tons of wine per year, and it is the only chateau wine producing area in China. It has won more than 500 awards in various international top-notch competitions. In addition to typical grape varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay, the grape varieties for making wines with awards also include Cabernet Gurnicht and Marcelon. It has become China's most promising wine producing area on a par with the world's best wine producing areas. Ningxia's grape industry provides 120,000 jobs for ecological immigrants every year. The advantageous industry has become an industry for enriching people. Ningxia's multiple wines have been designated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the PRC to be used to entertain foreign dignitaries. Among them, Ningxia Xixia King Wine has become a wine for diplomats and missions. After tasting the wine from the wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains, Jancis Robinson, a master of wine, said there is no doubt that the future of Chinese wine lies here. Regina Vonderland, chairman of OIV, praised Ningxia's wine has reached the international first-rate level. It is amazing. The wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains has actively integrated into the world wine family during its development. 
Ningxia is the first provincial observer of the International Organization of Vine and Wine OIV, in China. Ningxia has successively held the International Wine Expo for seven times and participated in the conference of OIV for six consecutive years and become the producing area that geared to the world grape industry most in China. Ningxia has held the International Invitation Tournament for winemakers two times. More than 60 winemakers from 23 countries have built a long-term partnership with over 20 chateaus in the wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains. Some world-famous winemakers even have settled down in Ningxia. Ningxia has held the first challenge for champion sommeliers from 25 countries of the Silk Road Economic Belt. Champion sommeliers from 25 countries along the Belt and Road tasted wines in nine cities of China, found the best matches between wines and Chinese dishes, and jointly recommended the Halan red wine made in the wine region at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains as the favorite wine for Chinese consumers. Halan red wine became the designated wine for the 60th anniversary of the establishment of Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region. The Somalais have been engaged as the marketing ambassador of the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains. After tasting Ningxia wine, Li Zhiyang, a world-class master of wine, praised, Ningxia's wine goes best with the mutton of the local Tan Shi. First international Oeno video festival at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains were launched in 2017. Nowadays, Australia, France, the US, New Zealand, and other countries have filmed nearly 20 movies and TV works in the wine-producing area at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains. The award ceremony will be held in 2019. The 2020 World Somalay Conference and the 2022 World Wine Conference will also be held in Ningxia. In order to promote domestic and foreign exchanges in wine culture better, Ningxia, with its unique location, actively promotes the integrated development of the wine industry and cultural tourism, focuses on 22 tourist chateaus among classified wine chateaus, vigorously developed wine tourism and experience activities, and organizes people to experience wine chateau tourism in Ningxia by building mobile wine chateaus, airplane wine chateaus, and ship wine chateaus. Good wine should be shared with good friends. Nowadays, China ranks sixth in the output of wine in the world and also the fifth largest wine consumer in the world, with a market consumption capacity of two billion bottles. The domestic wine consumption is growing at an average annual rate of more than 20%. China has become the market which grows fastest in the global wine consumption speed and has the largest market potential. In today's China, green development is getting its momentum. The Gobi Desert has now become an oasis with swaying vines. As the most promising wine region in China, the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains is developing the wine industry into a model of high integration of primary, secondary, and tertiary industries and green development. Through scientific development, the wine-producing area at the eastern foot of the Halan Mountains will become a first-class wine-producing area in China and even the world lead China's wine industry to create new glories and achieve the purple dream with the global wine circles. The eastern foot of the Halan Mountains in Ningxia, a piece of amazing land, is opening its arms to greet friends from all over the world to taste the good wines in China.